Hey everybody, it's Rebecca at Yarn and Pajamas, and today I'm coming to you guys with a bag haul. Here lately I have purchased some different types of bags to be used as project bags. Um, some of them are like new to me, I've never used them as project bags before, but I'm excited to start. So the first thing, my hair looks like it's not been brushed, but it has been, I promise. Um, the first two bags I want to show you are my T Doddles Mini Mini Maker bags for February and March. I had recorded an unboxing video, but accidentally deleted it. So, and I had thrown all of the stuff away by the time I realized I had done it. So, I do have the bags and the yarn that goes with the bags. So, I'll show you that. Let me grab the yarn real fast, sorry. So here is February, and I'm already using them. I already have projects in them. A little known to be is in here. Um, this has like teapots on it and teacups. See? And this was the yarn that went with it. The yarn is from Southern Skeins. Um, I can't remember what kind. I think this was Pima cotton, but I could be wrong. And I believe she named this one First Blush. But again, I could be wrong about that. So the second one was for March. And it was like, you know, spring is coming. So here is it. It also has a project in it. And it's these cute little cats. And they're working out in the garden or some are not working some are just napping and some are chasing some bees it's very very cute and then the yarn that comes with this one is this it's the southern skeins it's the southern sock yarn which is 75 percent super washed merino and 25 percent nylon and the colorway is be happy, and that's B E E. Be happy has been the bumblebee. So very cute. Like it a lot. Can't wait to find something to use it with. So that was my mini mini maker club bags for February and March. I you know for some reason I'm thinking this is not February. It is. It is February because it has the pretty pink on the inside. Okay. I was thinking maybe I grabbed the wrong bag, but I didn't. That was February. Okay, so the next bag, set of bags I have, I'm going to use is like Notion bags. And I do have a couple of these style bags that I use for other purposes. But it's from a company called Norwex. And if you've not heard of this company, it is an environmentally conscious, like, cleaning company. Um, you, I'll leave the website down below for the lady that I purchased my Norwex through her website. Um, I do use uh, several of their cleaning products, and I also use their cleaning cloths. And their laundry soap and I really like these bags and they had like a special edition so I thought that I would grab them so this is the special edition it comes with three bags one two and three let me open it up here so this is called the three-piece travel set so you get a small medium and large bag now they do um, sell the medium bags um, like normally. I have it in two different patterns, I think. I keep one in my car and then um, one in my work bag with some of my Travel Norwex cloths that I use to clean stuff with. But the first bag is this little pouch here. It's just got a zipper and on the inside and then what I'm excited about this bag for is it the the fabric that it's made out of is the fabric for their um, opti cloths so you can 
you know, clean your glasses and stuff with them. And I'm going to put my sunglasses down in it and keep in my car that way because I'm always looking for something to clean my sunglasses. And I'll always have something with this little doom. And it also has like the little ring you can put like a, this one's got this handle. So if you wanted to use it on this bag, you could, or you could put one of those carabiners and latch it onto something. So this is the medium bag and this is a special print. They do have some pretty prints though. So it has this zipper compartment and on the inside it's waterproof. And then it has a big zipper compartment. So I'm going to turn this one into like a notions pouch or like a mini, you know, travel like bag, which is what I plan to do with the other one. But yeah, so these are really handy to pack in your car as well to put things like, you know, wet wipes or the wet some Norwex cloths straws that's what I keep in my when I put in my work bag I got some Norway claws some reusable straws so you know save a sea turtle and all that and then here is the large bag which is my favorite of the patterns it's just this like horizon color and it is just one compartment and it is waterproof on the inside as well but I'm gonna use this as like a zippered um, bag for projects, like little projects that I work on. So that is from Norway. And again, I will leave all of the links down below for all of this stuff if you guys want to check it out. And I'm not affiliated. I am friends with the lady who sells it. So, um, there's that but I don't get anything for mentioning it. I just really like the bags and their products so yeah so the next bags are 31 bags and I know that everybody has probably seen 31 know somebody who sells 31 been to 31 parties online Facebook all that stuff you can also find some 31 in Goodwills which I have before and I do have several of these little ones that I use because they're good for like cake yarns but I'm gonna go right on in because they had some really cute spring patterns I guess so the one the first one that I got is sorry about the crinkle I tried to say it's the Littles carry all caddy and here it is and it is in a sloth pattern. Look how cute they are. You know, my spirit animal, so I had to get him. But you know, a cake, you know, fits good down in here. Well, you know, I mean, it's not like, it's not gonna hold your cake perfectly. But I do use them like to tote around stuff. And I have a snowman one that houses all of my Christmas CDs, you know, if people still listen to CDs, which I do at Christmas on my work computer, because I just can't seem to make myself go digital on my Christmas CDs. It took me a long time to amass that collection, and I want to keep them. So, yeah, enough about that, though. Enough about that. So, moving along, I got this little guy. And it is, I had to bring it up on the thing here. So I threw the little package in away. It's the tiny utility tote. So look how cute it is. And I'm sure that people have seen like the large utility totes and the small and the medium. This is like a teeny tiny one. It is so cute. I do use the small and the medium ones for projects, like especially like larger ones like blankets and stuff like that when I do it or if I'm using blanket yarn to make something, I will pack them around. And I also use like the large ones 
to grocery shop with. So they're very sturdy and they're um, sometimes feels in it. You can easily wipe it up. So again, it's in this super cute sloth pattern. Yes, I have more in the sloth pattern. So this one is called the Small Essentials Storage Tote. This is him. Let's open him up. I've never had one of him either. I've got a large Essentials Storage Tote in like a llama print that I do use as a project bag. But I thought he was like super cute and little. I may get me another one of these because I do like the size of it. It is like a really good size. It'd be really nice to keep some scrap balls down in there for my hashtag movie and stitch. Just keep it down by my chair and I can just not have to come up here and dig for a scrap ball every time I want one. And then the last bag is not for yarn. I got it to use for as a um Actually, you know what? I take that back. I did get it to use for yarn. I have one of these bags that I use as a um, toiletries bag when I travel. And then I originally purchased this to do that with, to switch them out. Then I'm like, I will get, I don't travel all that much. So I will get way more use and get to see it more if I use it with yarn. So... I am going to use it as a project bag. So it is just, you know, pretty simple on the inside. Again, it's, it's that vinyl, I think, material. So you can wipe it off if anything gets on it. And it's in the soft pattern, which all four of them were. And the last bag that I have for you, I bought at Walmart. I was heading towards the checkout and just happened to walk past it and liked it because I am a fan of the TV show The Office. So it's this bag, Dunder Mifflin Inc. Paper Company. And it's just a cloth bag, nothing on the inside. I mean, I don't think that it will like hold tons and tons and tons of stuff, but I thought it would be a good project bag. Maybe could use it a little bit as a work bag. That's what I plan to do with this one a little bit as well is to put pack my stuff in to work with it. But that was it. That was all of the bags that I got, and it was quite a bit. I did order another bag that, um, super cute, it's bees. I'll show it to you guys when I get it. I ordered it off of Etsy. So yeah, that was all the bags that I had. I hope that you guys like this video. If you guys had a favorite of the bags, let me know in the comments down below, and um, let me know if, um, if you use 31, like what all you use it for, like what all you use the bags for. So there's so many ways that you can use those bags and I'm always looking for new ways to use them. Cause like I said, if I find them at the Goodwill and they're in fairly decent shape, I will get them then too. All right. Well guys, I'm going to head off of here and I will see you guys later. Bye.